Hello guys, this is Mira Sermon with Lifetime Realty and Investment. I'm coming to you today with video number two on how to buy a house. I will try to touch all the important bases and make it as quickly and as uh, easy as possible to encourage all of you that are in the market or looking to buy a house to go for this step. I will uh, divide it, divide uh, this to a couple of uh, main steps and then I will go uh, with each steps afterwards in details uh, to talk about it. Uh, and from now, I'm going to tell you uh, that this is about how to buy a house step by step. In my next video, we're going to go in details on tips, what to look in and what to be aware when buying a house. So number one was going to be defined your money. Is it going to be cash or loan? Know your budget or know how much you qualify uh, to buy a house for. Number two, find a real estate agent. Number three, shop for the house. Number four, open escrow and put down your earnest money deposit. Number six, get the inspection. Number seven, get the loan approved. Number eight, appraisal. Number nine, title search. Number 10, paperwork and doing the last walkthrough, final walkthrough, and then closing of the house. So let's go in details by one by one. So first of all, defining your money source, is it gonna be cash or uh, loan? If it's gonna be cash, you exactly know how much you're gonna be looking to buy the house for. If it's gonna be loan, uh, you will be uh, knowing how much you qualify for in your pre-approval. Uh, and this is something we're going to talk about with the loan officer that I'm going to be meeting with. Uh, and then you will know how much you will be looking for a house for. Number two, finding a real estate agent. Real estate agent is the one who's going to protect you and guide you through uh, each step on the way. And uh, trust me, an acknowledged real estate agent will make this very easy uh, process for you. Number three, shop for the house. Your agent is going to ask you all the important questions uh, on uh, where's the city, how much you're looking to buy the house for, bedrooms, and then you're going to go in details on, on defining the important must be in the house that you're looking for. So everyone have a uh, must have in a house. And then he's going to have these must have in your house and he's going to eliminate anything that you really don't like to have in your house. And this will uh, specify your uh, search more and will make it easier for you to search in the houses and then find a house that you like and then uh, go and see the houses afterwards. Now, after you find a house that you really like, the next step is going to be to make an offer. An offer is a very important step to do because the same offer that you're going to send and write, that the agent's going to send and write, it's going to turn into the purchase agreement once the seller approves it. So it's very important to have the offer written and revised carefully because it is going to turn to the purchase agreement afterwards there's not going to be a purchase agreement this is the purchase agreement but it is sent as an offer at the beginning now when you send an offer the seller has uh, three options he's either going to reject your offer or counter your offer on terms counter offer like on the terms of the price or on the terms other terms that are listed in the offer or he's going to accept if if the seller accepts your offer, you will have three days uh, to put the deposit through the escrow. So the first step after that will be opening escrow. And then you have three days to put the earnest money deposit into escrow. The next important step, and this is a major step that everyone should be doing, which is the inspection. 
Inspection is basically to protect you. And this is one of the out of the bucket uh, the buyer is going to pay. So when you do the inspection, you really, uh, it's, it's more like a peace of mind of you will know what you're going to buy. Uh, and, and then uh, in this point too, you will know if anything needs repairs and your agent will help you negotiate all the repairs and get it done or get credited for it. Now, after that, there's the loan, lo, uh, loan approval. So your bank is going to go to approve the loan for this specific house. And both the inspection and the loan have contingencies on them. Once these contingencies are removed, either you're done with the inspection, everything is okay, you remove the uh, inspection contingency. When the loan is uh, is good and everything is good too, you remove the loan contingency. Once you remove these contingencies, you're no longer uh, you're no longer applicable of having your deposit back if you uh, if you just uh, want to get out of the sale. So you have to do all your uh, studying of the house, everything before you remove your contingencies because it's going to be very hard to get your money deposit after you move it. Now, after that, you're going to go for appraisal. The appraisal is something that is required by the banks and it's going to be another out of pocket uh, for the buyer. The appraisal gives you, it's a third party that will appraise and tell you how much the house is worth. If you're buying in cash, this particular point will will not be uh, in your agenda. But if you're buying in a loan, the bank does go with an appraisal and uh, he goes with it to know if he will be paying for a house and is it worth. Number nine, after all that, the escrow will ask the title companies to begin a title search. And uh, if title ends up to be a clean title and everything is okay, we will do all, uh, we will help you to complete and fill all the other paperwork that is uh, required. And then you will go with your agent for a final walkthrough to make sure that all the inspection, uh, like all the repairs have been done, everything is good, everything as you looked at it at the same time. Final walkthrough is a very important step to do. And after that, there will be just signing and close of escrow and you'll get your keys and congratulations, you got your meal. Thank you guys for watching the video and the next video is gonna be about more tips and we're gonna go in more details on what to look in the house when buying it and what to be aware of. Uh, so thank you for uh, listening to me today and see you in the next series of the videos.